Audiobook Academy. Book Summary. The Growing Pains of Adrian Moe. By Sue Townsend. Novelist and playwright Sue Townsend has written a contemporary novel titled The Growing Pains of Adrian Mole in England. Adrian Mole's Secret Diary was a huge hit, so she decided to write a sequel. Our other sequels include, Adrian Albert Mole, True Confessions, Adrian Mole, From Minor to Major, Adrian Mole, The Wilderness Years, and many more. Everything in the book, from his school woes to his house woes, is written as if it were Adrian's diary. In the process of maturing and into adulthood, Adrian experiences a wide range of emotions. He talks about his less than perfect relationship with his parents and how he eventually runs away from home. Teenagers are known to act out in similar ways. First time he had the guts to face his parents in such a way. Adrian presents a picture of a 1980s working class family in his memoir. His point of view is used to tell the story from beginning to end. As Adrian put it, his parents are negligent and enjoy their vices since they don't take care of him. In order to have a clear image of Adrian's ideas regarding the other characters, the reader must rely on Adrian's descriptions of them. Amidst all of his woes, he manages to convey them in a light-hearted manner. People his age would be ashamed to talk about such things, but he makes the reader laugh so hard they finish the book just like he wants them to finish it. In addition, he becomes embroiled in debates over issues of moral and social injustice. As a youngster, parents are supposed to be the role models and instruct their children what to do. But Adrian is acutely aware that his parents' behavior is less than ideal, and he is determined to avoid ending up like them. To keep his promise to Pandora and his future family, he intends to remain faithful. He realizes that cigarettes and alcohol are a waste of money and could leave him without the food and clothing he needs for school if he chooses to smoke or drink. Many people could connect with his issues with growing up, acne, love, and his relationship with his parents. His country has been in turmoil as a result of the British-Argentinian conflict over the Finland Islands. Margaret Thatcher was in power at the time, making history as the first woman to assume the title of Premier of the United Kingdom. She was referred to as the Iron Lady because of her strong views and demeanor. Anyone who viewed the islands as belonging to Argentina was considered unwelcome in Britain by her. In the end, Argentina was unable to defeat the United States. The book tells the story of Adrian's life as well as the circumstances that led up to these confrontations. Adrian Mole, a 15-year-old boy, is the central character of the novel. When Adrian's nose became attached to a model plane, his father wanted him to go to war with Argentina. When his older sister, Pandora, came to see him, he couldn't look as he did. Pandora, a beautiful and intelligent girl from a respectable family, was the one for him. His classmate, Barry Gant, made fun of him for having a little mishap, and he was also his nemesis. Adrian told his grandma he would no longer attend church when the priest made a statement regarding the war. When Adrian began to grumble about his mother and the fact that he married her, he was conversing with his father. Adrian's parents paid no attention to the fact that he was suffering from severe tooth pain. In the end, he visited the dentist and had his tooth out. Adrian's parents were heavy drinkers and cigarette smokers, and they spent all of their money on booze and smokes. A peculiar bond has developed between Adrian and his parents since he was a child and they regret how Adrian came out. As a parting gift, Adrian wrote Pandora a letter, but he wanted to hand it off to her in person. At her house, he observed numerous expensive cars and it appeared that there was a party in progress. Despite Adrian's mother's pregnancy, he was not pleased with it. Letters from an American friend he met in Scotland arrived, and they informed him of his plans to visit him. Having gone out with Pandora, Adrian didn't enjoy being around him. Because Pauline Mole didn't think there would be enough room for the baby and because of a concern that his father had gotten another woman pregnant, she decided to leave the house. Nigel, Adrian's best buddy, set him up on a date with Sharon Botts. The date didn't work out. Adrian and Pandora reunited, and she visited him frequently. It occurred to Adrian that his father and his mistress were inappropriately strolling the streets together. Adrian and his parents invited Pandora to Skegness. She gave her yes. However, because his parents wanted her to foot the bill, she was unable to join them on their trip. In the end, Adrian's neighbor, Queenie Baxter, wound up in the hospital, and Bert, her husband, was quite concerned about her. Adrian often looked after them, despite the fact that they were in poor health. Also concerned about Bert's safety will be Adrian's parents, George and Pauline. While fishing with his father and going to a sports center were Adrian's favorite activities, he was bored the entire trip. 
that his mistress had given birth to a newborn boy while they were on vacation, George informed them. Pauline and George divorced, and George returned to his mother's house. Maxwell House and George's child were among his mistress's children that he took to live with him. Adrian received a letter from the BBC stating that they liked his song, but that they would not be releasing it in any form. Adrian was left with Pandora's house key while she went on vacation with her family. Adrian received a letter from the BBC explaining that they will not publish his music, and that he has matured intellectually since receiving the previous letter. Adrian and Pauline endured a difficult existence due to a lack of food and Adrian's clothes being too big. Pauline couldn't get a bank loan because she didn't have a steady income and her parents said they couldn't help her financially either. They weren't sympathetic to her or Adrian's plight. It all came to a head when she revealed the bank director's unwillingness to pay her check. A trip to see Adrian's paternal grandparents revealed that his grandmother and her father's lover were not on the best of terms. Bert revealed to Adrian that his father had been laid off due to a lack of work opportunities for him. George drove Pauline home from the hospital after she gave birth to a girl. Rosie Germain Mole, Adrian's infant sister, became his sole focus. Adrian was awakened one night by a phone call from a friend named Lucas, who was discussing some sort of blood test. Adrian's mistress was waiting for him outside of school one day. As soon as her ex-husband leaves his wife, she plans to marry him and move in with him and their son. She informed him of her plans. When Queenie died, Bert was overcome with grief. When Adrian first walked into their house, he had a strange feeling. Because it was getting close to the holiday season, Adrian went out and bought presents for everyone on his list. Aunt Susan and Gloria, Adrian's aunt and her friend, came over to talk with him and Pauline. After Adrian gave Pandora a gold necklace that he claimed to be real gold, she awoke the next morning to find herself covered in a rash. Adrian's family gathered to ring in the new year with him, including his parents, mother, sister, and Bert. Lucas called Pauline and George after they decided to move back in together. To Adrian, he revealed that he was the father of Rosie. Next day, he went to their house and got into a confrontation with George, Pauline, and Rosie over the matter. Soon after, Lucas sent Pauline a letter threatening legal action if she continued to deny him access to his own daughter. The state of the country was further deteriorated by the high levels of unemployment and poverty that prevailed. It all started with a poem Adrian penned about a school restroom in the middle of the country. Because Adrian spent more time with his buddies than with Pandora, Pandora decided to call it quits with Adrian. Apparently, Adrian began hanging out with a gang lead by Bert, as reported to his parents by a cop who visited them. School kids were fascinated by Elizabeth Sally Broadway. Adrian's feelings for Elizabeth began to grow. Because his parents had him grounded, he was forced to prepare for his upcoming examinations, but he was resentful of the idea. He made the decision to flee. Adrian penned a letter, then fled the scene. Even after a full day and night of wandering, he couldn't find anything in the papers regarding his absence. On the eve of his birthday, no one bothered to send him a card. After spending the night outside, he was discovered by the pastor's wife, who offered to call his parents and provide him with refuge. When Adrian returned home, his parents were less than happy. When the doctor saw Adrian was depressed, Pandora and Adrian's grandmother came to see him. Adrian had to take the tests after returning to school. He distanced himself from Bert Baxter's gang. A second letter from BBC said his songs had been rejected, but he didn't care. Pandora and her love were all that mattered to him at the time. Adrian Mole, 15 years old boy that has issues with girls, acne, parents, bullies and so on. In addition, he is plagued with doubts about his own moral character and the fairness of the world around him. He wondered why adults say one thing but do another. He felt rejected by his parents because they made it clear that they were unhappy with the way he turned out. He was concerned about how he would adapt to adulthood and what he would do after high school. Nobody could understand his poems, not even the BBC, who consistently turned down his submissions. He has a strained relationship with his parents and only had one one-on-one -on -one conversation with his father. In spite of his icy exterior, Adrian had a tender side that was shown in his connection with Pandora and how he cared for his younger sister. Pandora Braithwaite Adrian's younger sister, is a savant. In spite of her compassion and her family's wealth, she never made a difference in Adrian's life or Adrian's life for that matter. Adrian was dear to her heart. George Mole, Adrian's father. In contrast to his wife, George was a neat freak and expected her to take care of the house, but she never did. She and her husband had many fights, and she regretted their union. Pauline Mole, Adrian's mother. 
She had no desire to be a stay-at-home mom, instead, she devoted herself solely to maintaining and improving her physical appearance. They fought a lot because she was unhappy with their relationship. Both of them were heavy drinkers and smokers. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button for more content like this. See you in next video.